Alrighty, um, what I'm going to do today is add, I want to add more clearance lights to the freighter trailers, so i sort of do a quick video, and I'm no professional, but uh, I'll just show you how I've been shown, I guess. Um, to start with, what we'll do is turn off all the random stuff we're not going to need to look at, so uh, if you click basically that one, it highlights hold shift and click that one, it selects sort of a group click the tabs, it turns off all those ones, that, things that we're not going to need basically um, I've already had a quick look and I know I'm basically going to copy and paste that group of LEDs there and whack them right there uh, I've already had a quick look, I know they're I think about the first eight here so we'll, what I'll do is turn off everything else I'm not going to want to look at uh, that's not part of it. So if I click there, oh no, it might be the next one down. So you see, as I click these boxes, see how the little cube disappears? So obviously we want to leave those ones on. So everything from under that I want to turn off. So I'll click there again, highlight that box, scroll right down, uh, hold shift, highlights everything. We'll turn all the rest of those lights off. So you'll see all those light cubes or whatever you want to call them are turned off now. Uh, we'll scroll back up. So on this screen I've got the left side of the trailer uh, in view. Now I've left the model on just for now just so we can see what it is. Um, so basically all we do is copy that and paste it over here. Kind of. Um, Alright, so we'll get into it. So what we do, we turn the model off. We come up here to create. Hit copy. I don't know what that crap is. Uh, so we've hit copy, we're going to copy all of that and now I'm going to grab hold of it, move it up there. So it's just made a complete copy of it. Righto. So if we turn the, tr the model back on, those lights are still there and we're going to dump these ones down here somewhere. Um, so we don't need copy anymore. We'll go to modify and that'll give us our move tab. Um, I had a look just before and I've actually got to move this row of lights out a little bit so because they stick just inside the combing rail so what we'll do we will go and I think it was on I suck at this part, might have been on Y we'll click move, we'll copy it all again we'll bring this one so we can just see the edge there something like that grab hold of that group Nah, it was Z. Grab hold of that group, and then we can see it goes backwards and forwards. So we'll go somewhere like that. That'll do us for now. Right, now we'll go X, Y again. We'll grab hold of the group. We'll whack it down here. Beautiful. Okay, so we've basically just added an extra light there. It's, it doesn't have a little pretty. Um, visual for it, it's just going to be a bunch of LEDs sitting on the edge of the combing rail, but anyway, it is a game. Um, if you wanted to make that set of lights brighter, or even these sets of lights, you basically just make a copy and paste of that again. So if we went, um, if I turned the model off, fuck. if I turn the model off, um, and we'll go create, copy, select the whole light and what you're going to do is you're just going to grab hold of it, move it over and then move it right back on top of each other again. Alrighty, and then dump him back there, something like that, done. Alright, last thing we got to do is turn everything back on. So go right back through your whole mod. 
select the top, right down to the bottom, hold, shift, click, click there. I don't know why this bunch doesn't turn on, but click them ones as well. Make sure everything's ticked, except for the collision. I'm, I'm not sure, like I said, I'm not a professional, but not sure why they aren't ticked. I've noticed that in a lot of other mods as well, but um, uh, that's basically it. So what we'll do is export that back and overwrite the trailer PMD. Yes, we want to overwrite. And we'll go into game, have a look. Hopefully it worked. I've already got the trailers on, so I'll just go to drive. Jump outside. Down to the back of the trailer. There it is. So that's the group of lights that we copied and we brought them over to here and there they are so you can see because we've done the double copy and paste on that one set of lights they're a little bit brighter than that set um, yeah, that's it uh, like I said you don't have the little visual light marker light there but whatever um, so all you do for the rest we just keep copying and pasting the same group of lights right the way along the trailer or wherever you want the lights basically Looks good. Uh, hope that helps anyone that's trying to work out lights. Thanks for watching.